Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 20, what is it today? I don't even know, 24th, 5th, I think it's the 5th today. It's Friday. Um, last night, you know, after we had talked to you guys, we did the goodbye and everything, we were telling you that we gave her medicine and she's resting. She didn't move for seven hours literally scared the heck out of us a couple of times she sat there so still you reach down there and touch her you know go Sasha and her fur's all cold well when you feel a cold dog that I mean literally your heart just stops and then she looks up at you and I go Sasha you know and she's looking up like what <laughs> what do you want you know and uh she did that all night long she balled up underneath my desk chair and that's where she sat so this morning she's still doing the same thing she got up and uh, she ate that special food that they got for her and um, there was a a couple of uh, different prescriptions she had to take one of them what well, we did when we got home and then another one that you know sometime 12 hours after so she got those ate her food she ain't moved since she comes out you know kelly go let's go take her out so she can go potty and stuff and she comes back, lays down, just comatose. So Kelly this morning calls the, the vet when they opened at nine and um, go, this is really scary. This is not right. And um, she goes, look, she, yeah, there's some behind the scenes. She, she went through some trauma yesterday. That's why we were going on and on about, you know, what a good girl she was and how well mannered and friendly she was. She goes, yeah, she went through a lot. She's probably, you know, in trauma still after everything that went down. But uh, anyway, they say, you know, don't worry about it. Give her some time. She goes, just keep her, keep her warm. Let her know you're there. You know, stay with her. Don't leave her alone. And uh, so we called in to work today again. So and she's still pretty much doing nothing. But it has just been downpouring. And it clears up. At one point, it was dry. In fact, I come running out here to do something because it was dry. And I go in, go back out to come out, downpouring. Now it's stopping again. <laughs> Very weird. But, Steve, I told you, I told you you were going to get me in trouble. I'll explain why. This is what I'm telling you. I told you if I came out here to play with this thing, it was gonna get wet. That's uh, you know, that was just stuff coming under. And it's got a pretty good overhang. The wind was so hard it was blowing it in. But that's not what you got me in trouble for. Actually not in trouble at all. I was uh well I was coerced actually. The Ford F one fifty high trail. She's completely stock other than the the light kit. I wanted to get the rock light kit, if you can see them kind of glowing in the daylight there. But uh, they didn't have the, the rock light kits in, on hand. And uh, so it'll be here Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Um, I was hoping I could get it by the weekend, but I didn't even think about that stuff until this morning. Well, actually, I've had this thing in the box unopened. That's what we were going to talk about on Wednesday when we came home because we, we swung by and then we come home and the whole deal with Sasha and yeah, the truck has sat there. I cracked it open this morning. I wasn't even going to open it up because it's Friday. I thought, well, that's what I'll do when I come home from work today. But um, yeah, so I cracked it open, put the light kit in it. I... I'm trying to go and do minimal on this one if I can. I'm trying to get you the, the beautiful brown of this thing. Can't hardly tell, but it's got like a crinkle or a glitter to it. It's very pretty. Really pretty out in the, when you can see it in the sun. But um, the one, uh, you know, of course the light kit, that, that just looks so good on those. That's worth doing. So this morning I went through a long procedure of thoroughly, and I do mean thoroughly, breaking in that brush motor before she ever rolled a wheel. 
So I went through all that, cleaned it, greased it, or oiled it, got all that done, and <laughs> pretty amazing if you take the time to break in a new motor, the, the difference. It, it does not feel like any one of the, I didn't worry about none of these things. I, I knew I wasn't going to, I was going to put the fusion motor in there right away. The only one I rode a little bit and I felt bad about not breaking in was the TRX-4. But, you know, it's Christmas, I was all excited, so, you know, I just took it out. I thought, well, I'll deal with it later. And then I didn't like it right away, so I went with the Hobby Wing Fusion Pro. But um, this one, I'm going to try to keep the stock one in there as much as, as long as I can. Um, but I did, because of the control, additional control that it gives you, I did put the uh, Hobby Wing 1080 Gen 2 um, electronic speed control, the ESC, that's in there. And look, I can get the wheels to slightly turn, but look how, look how good the drag, this is a brush motor. Look how good the drag brake. I mean, look how much I'm pulling that thing. So yeah, works great. And then, you know, besides the drag brake, it's like a conventional RC car that we all grew up with. You know, you reverse it and reverse is brake. Just don't hold it there for a long time because reverse becomes reverse really quick and then you know the stock motors are famous for you touch the reverse and it goes 500 miles backwards and you run it into something somebody whatever uh, nobody worries about that because they're going to get rid of it right away <laughs> anyway first thing you do is get a aftermarket speed controller and a crawling motor you know or better yet one of those brushless fusion motors whether it's the se or a fusion pro this one it's weird with these two sitting beside each other because this one still has the 2.2s which i mean they're good looking wheels but it makes it look very unscaled looks like some kind of a cartoon thing and um yeah just they need 1.9s on there it looks scale that looks it fits the truck it looks scale that's the whole purpose of these kind of trucks these aren't you know like professional rock crawlers these are play crawlers you know you can use them for it a lot of people do and they do well but um yeah uh, the, the whole thing is the scale it's a scale crawler but look at the difference with the droop desert lizard shocks and the uh the 1.9s on there look at the difference in height between those two yeah, nice, nice kit, side marker lights, just like the, the Chevy, but unique. The side marker lights are on the side of the tail lights on the Chevy. The actual side marker lights on this. Stickers, that's actual um, chrome trimming. That's nice. There's a special edition, it's a launch model, it's only available at dealers which is what we went to go get. And uh, cause the brown is not available until the end of next month sometime. So we'll walk in and so we'll take one of the black ones, you know, the limited edition, the launch model, whatever you want to call it, special edition launch model, not available online. I think sometime in summer it'll be available, but right now it's exclusive to uh, Traxxas authorized dealers only. Can't get it from eBay, can't get it anywhere else. You gotta walk in a store. But uh, anyway, he goes, you sure? He goes, have you seen the blue? And I go, definitely seen the blue. Everybody's got the blue. He goes, have you seen the brown? I said, yeah, it'd be great if you get your hands on it. He, go, he goes, uh, he goes, you probably heard it's available at the end of next month. Huh? I said, yep. He goes, we just received two of them this morning. I said, we'll take it. <laughs> so I wasn't really sure about the brown. I wasn't sold on that. But in lieu of the 1.9s being scale and just looks proper, that looks like a cartoon, um, they, do, they are fun. You know, I, I put them on here every once in a while just to goof around because they'll go over anything. But, I mean, the least little thing, it tips over. And this one already got the old treatment of a tip over. And that was with those wheels on it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, anyway, the I got uh, one of the cool things. This had chrome wheels, the 2.2s. This one's are, they're satin. And um, so I found the same 
basically the same tires as this with uh it was just aluminum it has a satin look to it so it'll it'll be different those should be here tomorrow hopefully and Callie, she's all kinds of fired up she goes well it's starting to dry out and then a couple times it did dry and she's ready to roll and uh, she was driving this thing around the house she goes you sure you didn't get a motor fat i promise you pulled the cover off see the 21 turn traxxas motor in there the titan or whatever they call it it's pretty crazy how well it runs now you know you go down this hill it's not you let go of the throttle it's not going to have a 100 percent drag brake or anything like that it, it can't it's a brushed motor but uh it does a really really good job this one you can't get them tires to spin no matter what you do impossible that's a fusion this one even though she holds on you can see the tires moving it's a brush you can't you, there's no way you can you just can't control that but uh yeah how about that yeah steve you got me this one on this one <laughs> no we've been looking at this thing kelly's seen that she goes that's just like my dad's truck her dad had a 78 blue which i was surprised she wasn't after the blue nope like the brown I said, we can't get it. It won't be until the end of next month. I said, we can, the body's only 140 bucks. And it's a whole kit. The body is complete. Mirrors, you got to put it together. But all the grills and everything, no lights, of course. Well, I tell you what, they're a lot different when you got that molasses thick stock oil in them shocks. And you push this thing down and it slowly rises back. That is like no suspension. That's why you see people driving these things right out of the box and they just bounce and <laughs> the suspension. I mean, why would you why would you set your suspension up so thick that it's uh it's virtually unusable? I, I don't know if I've ever come down this thing on two point yeah. I have. Let's see. There's no throttle, so that's a hundred percent trail brake setting. Which is alright. But you got regular brake that works if you've been around RC cars for a while. Now, I want you to be mindful that this is the stock motor. This is what happens when you properly, and I do mean properly, break these things in. Look how slow you can go with this thing. Now, it's going to roll off the front and bounce down. I don't, you don't have that FOC. Because I can't, you know, hit the brake quick enough to, to stop it. I mean, you could if you go downhill on something, but... Imagine that. It has the same tranny wine. Let's get her out of diff locks here. But things that you get hung up on like that right there. Yeah, that just don't happen when you got the 2.2s and stock shocks. And I swear this thing turns sharper than the K10. Yeah, making sure the endpoints were where they need to be. But yeah, that shock oil. I guess for crawling you'd be okay. But you you go ripping along at speed and it's gonna bounce like that K ten with those you know, with that droop set up on the uh desert lizards. You know, why does this thing turn so much better? I need I'm gonna have to do some studying. Let's get diff locks back on. Kelly would seriously cry if I... Oh, I'm going to miss it, aren't I? Nope, she's going to take it. But the K10s for... Or I mean, the 2.2s for general goofing around. They're fantastic. Because they go over everything. You just got to... <laughs> you just got to avoid speed runs. Because uh, even with TS, TSM turned on, they're going to... That thing turns way better. Look how slow that stock servo is. That's the other thing too. Huh? We're going to try to just leave things alone. This will be our, our stock crawler. But look how good I made a stock motor run. And pay attention to the daggum camera. I'm always afraid I'm going to do something wrong with the truck. So I pay more attention to that. Oh, don't go off.
That's amazing. Without that thing broke in, it doesn't it doesn't break that hard. But you ought to see what that armature looks like, boy. She looks like some fine-tuned race motor. <laughs> what you can see of it, you can't, you know, pop them apart like you can the other motors. These stock cans, you know, they're all kind of basically press fit together. And she got a little bit of a little bit of flex going on there. But look how slow I can go. Now she'll she'll stall out when you hit something because it doesn't have the FOC. You just got to give it a little more throttle if it if it hangs. But anyway, I thought I'd show you all that. I know, Steve, you're not in trouble. We were already kind of pondering this anyway. And then uh, she really likes driving the K10 around. And she, uh, this eye, uh, this four just caught her eye. So, um, anyway, we added another member to the family. Let's see how well she, how slow I can go uphill with her. That's crazy. Man. Is there some value in taking the time breaking in a brush motor? All right. Welcome. You can hear that daggum stock servo just a humming up there, but the motor doesn't make any noise because I can, with that uh, Hobby Wing 1080 speed controller, I can uh, change it so it turns it off or makes it quiet. It's there, you just don't hear it. Well, hello there, YouTube. At the moment, the rain stopped. At the moment. So I was out there, and Kelly came out, so we were driving around for a while with the with the two trucks. And and um, so it started to rain, so we start grabbing stuff and going in. And um, Sasha must be feeling better because she went buck wildly. They didn't. We must have been gone long enough. They, <laughs> they didn't know it was us coming up the porch. I know, and I got all the stuff in my arms. And, and they're freaking out, charging at the door, you know. So balls. good to see her being spunky again. Yes. Now she's back there laying around again. She I comes know. in, kind of looks at Mama. She's doing craft stuff in the kitchen and stuff. And then she goes back there and lays down. I don't know For how hours. a dog can sleep like that. Yeah, poor thing. Well, that's pretty cool. Very unusual for me to get something new and not tear right into it it's, it's funny where your mind goes you know when you come home and see that disaster out in the pen and oh man that cost a lot of money at that vet but it's yeah. well worth it we we're thinking way more yeah. I, I just knew it had to be that bone but um anyway it's all it's all good now Mm -hmm. I wish she'd be a little more perky, though. Yeah. But she goes out and runs around, does her runs and stuff, and comes back, barks, she wants back in. So she's going to be doing a lot better. So mm -hmm. Anyway, I think on that, we're going to roll. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. <laughs> bye bye now.